Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at Android's 3.1. It's an update to the Zoom, and it adds quite a few different features. So let's first take a look at what it looks like. It took a while to come to the device, so here it is. I've downloaded it. It was 25.8 megabytes. It's telling me there's a system update ready to install, so let's go ahead and hit install now. It's going to take a while. It's going to reboot, and come up a little bit different with some different updates and we'll talk about those in a moment. I'm going to let this install and we'll be right back. While I thought we would wait and have this installed and then come and show you the video, I thought we'd just show you what it looks like to install and talk about the features that way. So as you can see there's an Android with some gears and a status bar that we're waiting for. Now once that's done we should have quite a few new features. Some of those include connectivity for USB accessories, everything from Xbox controllers to camera support to bring in uh, photos and that sort of thing into your device. They have some different UI tweaks that we'll look at in a moment. We also have recent app lists that are expanded. We have resizable home screen widgets, again part of the UI that we'll take a look at. There's also support for external keyboards and pointing devices. There's also support for the joysticks, like I said. There's a more robust Wi-Fi network, basically adding some different features that let you stay connected better. There's an upgraded browser that includes some new UI tweaks and controls and accessibility, as long as differences in the gallery app that support picture transfer protocol and calendar grids and contacts are updated quite a few different things some different enterprise support updates and uh, even though the zoom is pretty fast they've actually optimized some of the performance as well and the update is out right now on the 3G Wi-Fi model the Wi-Fi model is yet to get the update so once this reboots, we'll take a look at the UI changes. We're not going to look at all the other things, but we thought we'd just take a look and see what it's like hands-on here. So this should be just about done. It's rebooting, and hopefully we have our update with no problems. So as you can see, it's booting up, dual core. Uh, it's signing the boot configuration, signing the backup bootloader, and it's finishing the update. All right, so your bootloader was successfully upgraded. It'll reboot, and there we go. We're finally booting up here. You can see the honeycomb shapes with the boot up. It actually looks a little bit smoother, even though it's minor. This does look smoother than it did before while it was booting up. So let's see if everything else is even a little bit smoother. The zoom lacked a little bit refinement compared to other tablets on the market. And some of the UI elements were a little bit choppy, so I, I'm hoping this fixes that. Because the Zoom really is a pretty nice tablet, uh, although I tend to use an iPad 2 more, uh, this has some really great UI elements. So it's a little bit choppy, but I'm sure that's just because it's booting up, or I hope. Alright, so the widgets are supposed to be resizable, and let's give that a shot. Let's see how that works. We'll hold down. Looks like we've got this. We can We can drag. That's pretty interesting. So you can resize this widget here. I'll move it over here. We've got these little pull handles and we can resize it and that's showing our most recently viewed uh, web pages. So let's go ahead and scroll to this size and see if we can resize. I guess we can't. This is a YouTube widget. Can't resize that. Don't really have anything there but we can resize the UI so that's pretty neat. Now one thing that's supposed to be different is the marketplace. Okay, I did have an account. I guess I have to sign in again. I'll do that. Be right back. Here's the app store I've brought up after I signed in. And as you can see, the browser uh, isn't too crazy, but they do have an added books and movies section. So here's the books. We can buy books, which is nice. A new new addition here. We also have movies that we can rent as well, which is pretty nice. Here's $4.99 for the Inside Job HD that we can watch. So this is kind of bringing it up to speed with the iPad in that now we have, instead of having the iTunes store, we have a full store inside the Google Android setup uh, app market. So it's pretty nice and I think uh, that's definitely a nice addition to the Zoom. So let's go ahead and go back home. Now one of the apps that interests me that they've added here is an application that allows for movie editing. So let's go into our apps. Here's the movie studio. Let's go into the movie studio. 
Now they did have some editing before, but let's go ahead and do some a new project. We'll say OK, Untitled, and there's our little editor with a timeline, so that's pretty neat. Pretty hard to see in the camera, I apologize, because this is such a reflective screen and dark, but it is difficult to see. But basically we've got a timeline and some adjustments, like a little scrub wheel here for our video and play and that sort of thing. That's pretty neat. That's, that's definitely a nice... Uh, nice setup for the tablet and nice to have to be able to edit your video so they've kind of covered all the bases here I think with the update uh, as far as performance and things like that that you know obviously we'll only see over time but it looks pretty smooth now the browser is changed I guess a little bit differently here we'll go to Zolotech and it is a pretty fast browser, but there's just supposed to be a lot of different tweaks that, that uh, help out with, well, really a lot of different things within the, within the uh, update. I could go on and on. There's quite a few different things. Like I said, the home screen widget we just checked out. We also have all those devices you can connect to it, so if you want to play a video game uh, on here with your Xbox controller, you can do that via USB. I think there's some really interesting things they're doing with the Zoom that add a lot of function and a lot more value to the Zoom as, as a whole and any upcoming Android tablets. If you have a Zoom and you've checked that out, let me know what you think and if there's anything in particular you use that I haven't mentioned that you found to be overly helpful with this update, please comment below and let us know. Uh, I've only played with it, as you can see, right here, so just wanted to bas basically cover it really quickly. Uh, let me know what you think, though, either way. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.